Speaking of a few more buttons to go, it's Blaine Centennial Rivalry Week Round 2. This is the, oh, that's not a button. I'm trying to start oh, the highlights. No, it did it. Oh, here we go. It's a delay. Girls Hockey Centennial visiting Blaine's second meeting of the season. Centennial won 3-0 at home a month ago, but this time around, no Gabby Hughes out with an illness. So, <gasps> after a scoreless first, Cougars on the power play in the second. Emily Nadeau with the backhander. She just taps it in off the feed from Haley Bird yeah, to start the scoring. They do, they do. Watch this. Feed, a little tap, tap, tap a -roo, and that one's in, beating the goaltender five hole. Love Billy Madison. Two minutes later, Gabby Rosenthal feeds it to Ramsey Parent, and then Rosenthal gets it back and equalizes. Beautiful passing, hitting Rosenthal in stride. Watch it again. Feet across, shot in, and then she'll slide into the board, celebrating at the same time. There is a Gabby there, after all. But how many different views can we show you on this? Just three. Just three? Just yeah. All right. This one was more. In the third, headman pass to Annika Linzer against two defenders, slides the puck around one, regathers, and scores. Star wipe, please. You got it. And a sizzle. Replays from every angle. All right, director man, name off these cameras for us. Uh, this is the handheld. That's going to be uh, camera four down there. All right, what's this one? That's camera three yep. up top. What else we got? This is high tight number two. And there we go. In the slow mo. Speaking of high and tight, 50 Woo! speed. That's nice. Yes, Annika Linzer with the sizzle play. Yes. Blaine had chances late, but here Rosenthal shut down by Mackie Torma. Both goalies face 18 shots in this one, but Centennial wins two to one. Gotta think to yourself, don't you can't let it get to you. No matter what, you can't let it get to you. Put your mind in someplace else, whether it's control your rebounds or just focusing on the next shot, and that's all you can really do. It just kinda happens. I mean all I remember is like slipping it through the girls' skate. I just kinda did it, I guess. It was a fan, it was a nice one, I liked Thank it. Thank you. Um but overall, I mean over your career versus Blaine Bengals, seven goals, four assists. What does this rivalry meant to you? I mean, it's always fun to play them. They put up a fight every time. They always work hard and give us a fun game to play. To summarize, Centennial wins 2-1. to one. You saw the goals. Francis Prado Berg with assists. Torma getting the victory in goal as Centennial able to take down Blaine twice in the rivalry matchup this season. Zap a like. So, Centennial couple of wins there. They've won four in a row now. Blaine bounced back with a big win over Irondale. Rosenthal having herself a hat trick against that Irondale squad. Rough stretch for SLP. They've been one of the top teams in the other division, but back-to-back -back losses setting up before their next matchup with Blaine. So Blaine and Centennial near the top. Centennial right at that top spot. Spring Lake Park has slipped down to two behind Champlain Park Green Rapids. Probably park and going up there. We should put that on TV. Think so? Yeah, I wonder who I need to talk to to get that thing on TV.